download Visual Studio from the link in the description. Run the XE that you downloaded from the Visual Studio website and install like I do. Install Visual Studio Community Edition. Select the .NET Desktop Development option. Make sure to only select the options we need to create mods. Wait for it to be installed. Press Launch. Press Create a new project. Select the Class Library.NET Framework version and not the Class Library option. Choose a suitable name, leave the framework version as is, and then press Create. Once you are in Visual Studio, right-click the References tab and click Add Reference. Select Browse and select the following Dell files from your schedule one directory with Melon Loader installed. Remove the namespace part, which we don't need right now. Remove all the references at the top of your class, which we don't need yet, and replace the system reference to Melon Loader. Add the following to the end of your class name to make it a Melon Loader script. If you're using code or functions made by Unity or that use Unity to work, reference the Unity engine. Go to your assembly info file and paste in the text in the description. Change the type of to your class name. Choose your name, version, and author that will be displayed in the console when the game is launched.
set the game name and author, to null for now, to make the mod universal, as we don't know the exact namespaces for it yet. Add your code or follow along with what I'm doing. Remember that this is not a programming tutorial, but a tutorial for setting up your schedule of one mod. Save the mod with Control S or click File, and then save at the top left. At the top of the window, press Build, and then Build Solution. Our build worked, but it will not always work due to incorrect code. Go to where your project is located and go to OBJ Debug and your DLL will be there. Copy your DLL file, which is your mod, and paste it into your Melon Loader Mods folder. Start your game through Steam or File Explorer. As you can see, our mod is there. While we wait for the game to load, let's set the name and author of the game in a mod. Copy the game author, paste it in the first null as a string. Copy the game name and paste it in the second null as a string. Don't forget to rebuild the mod if you want those changes to apply. And our mod is working. Mods can be much more complex than a simple hello world, so I recommend practicing creating a mod first, as it took me a while to get good at. Thanks for watching.